Alright guys, here's a review of the Knoll ROM. Um, this is an awesome ROM. Uh, it makes this Samsung Gear Watch actually uh, pretty cool. So first off, what you're going to want to do to get internet access on this guy is you're going to want to go on your Bluetooth, you're going to have to pair these devices so you make your, in my case, my Note 3 visible. Then I wait for the Note 3 to show up and then I select it, the pair, and on both devices I hit pair, OK on the Note 3. OK, there we go. I'm paired up. Now I'm going to want to go on the Note 3 here on the left. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go to tethering. And under tethering you'll see Bluetooth tethering at the bottom option. You select that. And then you got to come back over to your gear watch and see I have my Note 3 paired there, you hit that little settings icon on the right and you check the box internet access and there you go it says tethering active on my Note 3 and now my gear has internet so there we have the internet tether Bluetooth tethering working on the gear and now for the cool stuff so first off um, not only can you Bluetooth tether but you can add multiple devices uh, if you go into here, I have this little Bluetooth headset. I can go in and uh, first I got to turn it on. Get the pairing option available. So there I got the blue light. Then I can go scan for devices. As you can see, it says available devices, and I have the headset here. So here I'm pairing another device along with keeping internet access with the Bluetooth tethering. So I select here, I, I just, oh, I got to put in the pin, so the default pin is 000, with most headsets. There we go, and now the headset is paired. Now I found out that this headset will work for phone calls, but if you're trying to stream audio or something, like on Pandora, the media will not play through the headset, but phone calls will. So you have the headset working, wire, Bluetooth tethering working. Um, I'll prove that the tethering's working. I'll load up Opera web browser. I found this web browser works really well on this ROM. I'm going to load up Google. So there we go. Google's loading up. And as you can see, if it'll focus, Google loaded. So that's proof that we have internet. And we'll have more proof later on. So here we go. The next thing is uh, the Nova Launcher. That's something that's included. That's what you see here. It makes it look like a real Android device, not that cheap, dimmed down version that originally came with. Uh, you also have root access. Um, here we have super user. Here I already have root explorer. Root explorer already has root access. I allowed it. And here we have the email client that is now working. Pretty cool. Yes, email works. And the other thing is that it uh, allows native app installation. Um, here if I go to Root Explorer, I'll prove this to you. I, I downloaded the Facebook app into my downloads folder. Storage, SD card, and under downloads, I have the Facebook app, so I'll go ahead and install that. Sorry, my finger's always in the way. Yes, there's the permissions. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. What is Facebook doing with all these permissions? Okay, we're installing Facebook app. Facebook does run on this. I've already tested it. My camera's having a hard time focusing on this little itty bitty screen. Sorry about that. Okay, so now we're going to open it. So this is worked. Here's Facebook. Oh my gosh, I don't think it's ever going to show it. Oh my gosh. Oh, it still has my app data. So yeah, it logged in for me from my previous installation. Yes, we have Facebook. Everything worked. Contacts. Got all your other Facebook stuff. Facebook works sweetness. Now you can show that off to all your friends that you're on Facebook on your watch. 
And here we go. Oh, time out, guys. Got to feed my fish. Oh, feed my fish. Eat up sharks. All right. <laughs> Anyways, on to the next thing. Um, as you can see, that's a life background. So the null ROM now allows life backgrounds. If you want to change it, like I did, now I have this fish background. You can go in, hold, you know, wallpapers here, and you can go in the life wallpapers over here, and you can select any of these, or you can add more if you want. But yeah, I have the the Annie Pet Aquarium uh, life background, which is what makes these fish on my screen, <laughs> and. On to the next thing, uh, we have the full settings, as you saw earlier when we went through the Bluetooth. Uh, we have all these options in here, you can even look at your battery percentage, um, see what's been using all your battery. I mean, and then of course you could always double tap your screen with two fingers and look at your battery percentage here. And uh, also, oh, next thing is the video recording limit was uh, pushed up to 60 seconds, so if I can record a video for up to 60 seconds Which is pretty sweet. You can actually get some footage in 60 seconds and not the previous I think 15 seconds that was not long enough. I don't know what Samsung was thinking um, Anyways, yeah, so There you know, I'll do launch my task manager. I've noticed this is always a little difficult to do holding two fingers on the screen perfectly still and I got my previous launched apps oh yeah oh yeah and Pandora works too <laughs> basically everything works <laughs> it's pretty sweet oh yeah I got some tunes playing on my watch Tech 9 even though I'm not a huge fan, that's what I'm playing. Alright. There we go, there's a brief overview. Oh, and Snapchat works. <laughs> so here's Snapchat. It's a real basic version that you can get through the Samsung App Store in your gear manager. So yeah, so there's, there's Snapchat. One last thing to wrap up this ROM review is the fact that it now has a third party contacts widget. So here I have like my all my contacts synced from my Note 3. And there you go, it's pretty sweet. You can add your favorites. I haven't added any yet. And, and also you have the gallery to view all your images. So you can go through and pick out your all your images and there's my custom background that I have for my aquarium. But yeah, anyways, awesome ROM. Uh, without this ROM, I probably would have returned my gear watch <laughs> a while back, but the fact that this has been in development is freaking awesome and this is what Samsung should have done in the first place. <laughs> Alright, enjoy your watch guys. See ya.